Hello, welcome to a brand new tutorial from AZF TV. It's Ahmed, and today I'm going to explain to you the meaning of stable coins. I know you've been hearing it all over the crypto world. People are always using the terminology, and it's quite confusing for you. So I've taken time to explain to you what we mean by stable coins. So when you say stable coin in cryptocurrency, it simply means in the more technical point of view, it's simply any cryptocurrency which has the market cap being equal to the circulating supply. As you can find over here, you can find out that when you come to theta, USD theta, the market cap is 78 billion. As compared to the circulating supply, and mind you, I've already taught this the price of a crypto is ascertained by the market cap over the circulating supply. So, when you hold this against this, you are getting something closer to one. So, stable coins are always at one, and their graphs are more or less like this. This are all of them, their graphs are. So they are pegged at one USD. That's why stable coins are. They are pegged at one USD. Their market, their market capitalization is the same as the circulating supply. They cannot go or they cannot fluctuate beyond one USD. That's the reality. So as you can find here, that's how it is. They are always around one USD and they don't fluctuate like other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and the likes. So normally what we use stable coins or what we do with stable coins in cryptocurrencies is that when you invest in a coin and you get your profits or you earn massive from it. You change it to any of these coins so that you don't lose your money that means let's say you have a profit of 10 million USD these stable coins make sure that your when you convert it to these coins your 10 million USD will continue to maintain at that same level it's not going to fall neither is it going to rise so as the name suggests, it's just stable. Understand? It's just it's just something at a par value because its market cap is always the same as what its circulating supply. This is how it's being regulated. So if you have any create money or crypto that you don't want it to fall, you convert it to these stable coins, and that's how things are being done. That's what we call, or these coins are what we call stable coins. They are regulated to meet one USD, not to go beyond it, not to go above it, always stay at that region so as not to inflate people's what money. So remember to subscribe to this channel and join this crypto class to learn more about cryptocurrency. If you have any question you can leave it in the comment section it will be addressed for you see you next time bye bye